Deal. Finally here. Left the house at 2.30 and it's like local time here, 9.40. Took ages to get here. I'm gonna go try some grill place now and hopefully a bank. Slightly started recording a bit too late. Some of it's A already, but it was surprisingly decent. First impressions. Quite impressed. Surprised to see the beach this lit at night. Good much. Hey. <laughs> Beautiful day in beautiful Brazil. About to hit the beach, grab some tea for breakfast, and see what Brazil has. It's kind of surreal to actually be here. That's the Sugarloaf Mountain. The vibe here is so chill. First breakfast in Rio. Surprised they actually have chicken sausages. We weren't even gonna come to this museum. Just saw a bunch of soldiers outside parading, and I thought, you know, this actually might be jokes to go into. And it's been such a vibe, you know, on the on the port, coming into this museum that has had so much interesting things to see. Some sort of care room or a torture chamber. Probably the first one. This was the first Brazilian flag ever made. No, I'm joking. Yes, my guy. Gentlemen, found the ops yet? This guy's mixing it. The mix table. Get the beats ready for the walk. This guy's gonna try to do business. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing. I'm gonna PT you guys at home. Finished the gym session. This beach is buzzing. Look how busy it is. It stretches for miles. On the supermarket. Buy a couple of things for the Airbnb. Wheels for the baskets. I love this. Tesco needs to get this ASAP. After eating out all day, some homemade pasta. We bought the breaded chicken. Mmm. Exactly what I needed. I just woke up and I saw the weather forecast. And I'm pissed. Well, it was actually meant to rain yesterday as well and they were banged, so we'll see a quiet morning in, had some breakfast, find out what I'm going to do for the next couple of days, about to hit up some shopping malls and then try out Moreto do Lemon and see if they have anything nice for dinner. Two things first though, one is surprisingly many people don't actually speak English, so I've been to Mexico, Morocco, Spain, Turkey, you know, a bunch of different countries and there's always at least a couple people that speak English in the area, but in here I've actually really struggled to find people that speak English. And secondly, it actually is a bit quite dangerous, like there was a few times yesterday where we're walking and I noticed like people just watching us, um, you know, you, you can kind of tell when someone's up to no good, like we come out of shop and then two guys were just fully eyeing us um, on the beach. So before I came, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos of people getting robbed in Rio. 
and you know that put me on super alert mode definitely have to be careful here luckily nothing has happened so far but yeah, and hopefully it stays like that but you know the things that they say is is sort of true and i do kind of have to you know be alert at all the time so yeah let's see what else happens on this holiday or hopefully nothing bad Where it's our mid, pretty much the only Jordan I've seen here. Didn't find much, just find some shorts. So we're just walking and we saw this. Hey, let's see if they have any heat. They've got some interesting teas, not many crepes. Off to the second shopping mall. It's raining. Why is it every time I go on holiday in January it starts to rain? Mexico was the same. Alright, so we just got to the second mall and the craziest thing happened outside. Okay, I've had to re-record this bit a few times because it sounds like I'm making it up, but the weirdest thing just happened. So we just got to the second shopping mall and there was a kiosk like right outside. We see one guy running from the other side while holding a gun in his hand. Just like ran in, straight went to, went to one guy and then we drove past. Like it was so crazy. Now we are close to Copacabana, and like the other area, it was a bit more rough. Um, here it looks a little bit more slick, but definitely was a bit more dangerous. What was weird about that situation was that when the guy approached the kiosk guys, they weren't even phased. But the because the water is really warm, it doesn't feel too bad. Uh, we're just gonna walk up towards Copacabana and hopefully we find something to eat. Still walking towards Copacabana, getting drenched, looking for a good restaurant. Wow, that was a feast. For about 45 minutes, walk down Copacabana. Our Airbnb. We're actually on. Like location one of the beach. And like each one is meant to have its own vibe. Um, some are meant to be safer, some are meant to be more family vibe, um, some more for young people. Yeah, I'm stuck. So much food came. And the guy warned us that we bought it too much, but we're like, nah, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, and it was really delicious. Morning, we are here at the Science Museum. So the official name is Museum of Tomorrow. And in the future, we will have wind. Not gonna lie, it's not much really to see. In like 10 minutes, we're leaving. In that museum, there's not much to see, I can't lie. But now, the cruise ride. Alright, it's a vibe. It's nice to be away from people. Busyness over here. Guys, we just saw a UFO. 
UFO. That was great. Time to eat. I have no idea what we're gonna eat. So we asked a girl on the boat to recommend a restaurant nearby and we just got here and it looks kind of dead. So we looked online for another restaurant and we actually found a really funny one. So Let's hit, head to that now. Found a restaurant called Emir. Worst jokes is, if you know me, you know I love rose lemonade. And they actually have an Emir special with April roses. So you know I had to try the roses. Sadly, it's not Iranian. It's Lebanese, but you know, they're my brothers. So, food must bang. Back to our Tastes nice as well. Let's try this beef or lamb. I'm not really feeling it if I'm honest, but I'm going to just stick to this. So the food didn't really bang, but hopefully this bangs. Ice cream cake. Cherry one. Quite nice. The chocolate one is definitely better. But you know what it is, yeah? I'm not really massive on ice cream, sweets, like stuff like that. I'm more of a burger. Pizza, steak, like meal, meal kind of guy, you know? So it's 1am in Rio. This Airbnb's windows are so thin. Listen to this noise. So there's a favela literally right behind us. Um, I think I showed you guys the view from the, the fort the other day. And yeah, they seem to be partying all night long. And I think I've heard before they say like Rio is the city that doesn't sleep and it's meant to be proper lit. But that's really not what I'm here for. I'm here to see nice sights, get some rest and definitely sleep. So I'm just looking at hotels now. Definitely no more Airbnbs. But it's a bit annoying because one, it's going to be expensive because it's last minute. Two, I'm going to have to swap the refund of the Airbnb. That's going to be a bit of a hassle. Price lowest first. Oh my god. So it's almost 4 a.m. in Rio and we found a place, booked it, wrote a description to the Airbnb host, took photos, videos, and yeah, we're gonna pack our stuff in the morning and head out. But wow. imagine the music is still going on. Believe it or not, I actually never went back to sleep last night up for time. Like, it's a bit annoying because you know you want to sleep loads on holiday. I'm back well rested, but right now I know fumes, but I don't really feel too tired. You know, like my mind is still on holiday mode. Just walking by myself on Copacabana Beach. To be honest, with you, like the weather is so nice here. Just the vibe is like got that tropical feeling. Waves are strong. It's kind of hard to like feel down or anything. So I haven't really let last night get to me. I'm still having a good time. I'm ready to leave. This was the place. It's not too bad, but damn the amount of noise that comes out of that window during the night is crazy. To be honest, the wardrobe didn't smell great. And this toilet won't shut up. Turn the window, put these massive gaps. Hella smoke would come, like cigarette smoke. And the hot water wasn't the best. So yeah, very happy to leave. I'm really excited for the hotel.